we have Jesus who went to the cross, yes. suffered, understands about suffering, but raises the question, well, why? Why did Jesus actually have to die? Yeah, great question, right? And to go the first thing, of course, we can, I would say straight away to folks on that is going, there clearly has to be a really good reason because if Jesus simply died because, he, because God, want, God wanted to show he loves us, that's actually seriously messed up. You know, if I, uh, if I throw myself in front of a bus on Valentine's Day and leave my wife a note saying, look how much I love you, I think her response with the grief would have been next time, like a box of chocolates would have been fine. You know, you don't just randomly give your life away. So the very fact that that is the only thing that was possible to, to achieve our sure. salvation, I think to me tells us how great the, the problem was, is the first thing. Secondly, of course, is if you unpack the, the scriptures, and one of the greatest privileges, I think, is sitting down with someone who's searching and go through this, uh, to be able to take the time to read the Bible with them, is that you know, the Bible time and time again doesn't run away, does it, from diagnosing the issue, that sin is a real thing. It is a real issue that has really separated us from God, and something needs to be done to deal uh, with that. And we've really forced with a with two possibilities here, aren't we? We either stand before God and go, well, we're going to deal with our brokenness and our mess up and our scrumps and our own, bring it on, which is a terrifying position to be in standing before the God of the universe. Or we have in the person Jesus, somebody, the only sinless one, who is willing to say, well, I'll take that burden on for you. I really hope that you have enjoyed this interview. Can I encourage you to hit subscribe so that you can get more of these interviews in the future?